All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? We are now finally into Phyrexia All Will Be One, and we're getting to play with the cards, and it's awesome. So we got a couple of different decks we're gonna be rolling out over the next few days for you to see in action, but today we're gonna be playing some Celestia Poison. And this is may not gonna look quite like what you expect, but strap yourselves in. This is gonna be a pretty interesting one. Now, I don't wanna to spend too much time going over the list because I do have a video where we detail all this, and I will try to remember to link it here so you can have it. But we're just going to go down this real quickly. We are playing four Crawling Chorus because they actually create more tokens themselves. We've got Skrelv because it's the best one drop these days and does everything we need it to do. In addition to being toxic, we do have two Tamiyo Safekeeping, four Venerable Venerated Rot Priests, so we can get some free poison tokens, hopefully. Four Jawbone Duelists, two Ossification so we can actually remove some stuff that might be in the way. Skrelv's Hive to just keep making more bodies. We have four Slaughter Singer, and this is actually really good, just making your stuff bigger, but also has Toxic 2 of its own. Then we've got three NX Sentry. This card's going to do a lot of work clearing the path for us, but does happen to be Toxic as well. We have four Bloated Contaminator, which is one of our favorite cards in this set. Tyvar's Stand. This is good because we can actually just deal damage and win, even if we don't have enough poison, but this also protects a creature for one, and gives you a benefit with the Rot Priest out, which is cool. Lands we're playing in Iganjo, five Plains, Beseju, five Forest, four Brushland, four Razor Verge Thicket, and three the Seed Core because our creatures are Phyrexians, and randomly we'll get to give stuff a plus two, plus one at times. So yeah, that's it. Nothing too fancy. We're gonna hop right into the gameplay, and then we'll talk about what we learned from playing this deck at the end of the video. So be sure to check that out. But for now, go have some fun with these games. <laughs> All right, the thing that makes Selesnia work really is having access to Razor Verge Thicket. And I think in the next set, we're going to get the other five. Whoa, that is a crazy animation. Did y'all see that? How it, like, bubbled up all gross? Oh, of course. See, this is what I figured was going to happen today. Just too many people wanting to play Poison. This is going to make for a lot of boring games. Uh, all right. At least I have a First Striker. No need to attack. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, you just kill our creature, attack us, because we can't block after that. I have so many people trying to message me right now. Uh, there is a Void Wing Hybrid, which does proliferate, right? Oh, when you proliferate, you return. Okay. All right. We got a free pass there, temporarily. However, that's going to attack and give us a poison. And there's not a lot we can do about it. Kind of unfortunate. But is what it is. I might as well attack. I mean, what you going to do? All right. They get two, at least. Because we have double strike in the turn. That is kind of cool whenever you do poison, it does the, like, bubble up thing. So you kind of remember that, hey, you got a poison token. I do like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But I, this is the only blue-black deck I considered making is the one they're playing. But I never got around to putting one together. I don't have anything with reach, opponent. You just get in. There is nothing I can do here. Uh, Yeah, I'm just going to take two. Hope it's not more than that. <laughs> like, I don't know how many ways you can give me extra poison, but I take one. There we go. Well, I take two damage and one poison. Yeah, Skrelv, by the way, doesn't protect itself. It says another target creature. So, at least I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it says another target creature. So they can kill our Skrelv, but they can't kill our Bloated Contaminator. Which I imagine they really want to. All right, just our turn. They're, they're not doing anything about it. That's interesting. All right, let's do this and remove that little uh, Death Toucher. By the way, this card, Annex Sentry, is really good. I think it's another one that people kind of overlooked in the preseason. Counter target spell, this spell down is three or less, you proliferate. Oh, that's annoying. All right, sure, you got it. So now I have to decide, well, I can make this just not block. So I'm at four, they attack us again, we go, or at two, we get attacked, we go to four. We attack them, they go to five. Eh, are we okay with that? I'd be putting my defenses down, though, to do that, which kind of sucks. So I think I'm just going to go with this. 
which feels pretty bad since I know they're proliferating on their turn. Probably a little, little too conservative, to be honest. I should probably just be protecting the bloated contaminator and attacking with it. But technically, at the moment, we're ahead. Could I show us the Skrelv ability on a double striker? I wonder, the poison, I don't believe stacks, but I will do that on a later turn. I mean, it does give it an additional poison. It does say it gains toxic one. So maybe it does dub double up. We'll see. This is tough. This is going to happen throughout the day because there's a lot of new mechanics with a lot of interesting thing happening. So I don't blame my opponents for being a little slow today. They look like they really want to get rid of that duelist. Like they're checking it out. Like, eh, what can we do here? This is a little tough because while we're ahead, once they start proliferating, we could fall behind and just die all in the same turn. A little tough. You know what? I might just get in there with Bloated Contaminator next turn just because. Nope. Nope. Okay. Still the same thing. No blocks. The weird thing is, though, I almost kind of have to cast a Contaminator first because of something... Oh, okay. This isn't terrible. Uh, this is tough to figure out how many turns we have left because of proliferation. Yeah, all right. This is a weird first game to play. <laughs> also, Arena, I wish you would have tapped the seed core. Now I have to take a point of damage for this. Not that it probably matters in this matchup, but... Binding counters unless I pay two more? I mean... Kind of was going to play Skrelv's Hive, but sure. It just gets countered out right there. Do you have another one? They probably do. Nope, they don't. All right. think for now we're still going to attack with just this and see what happens. Opponents at four. We'd be giving them... Five, six, even if we gave it double, a seven, eight. So we won't do that yet. Especially while the opponent has mana up, I don't want to test it because I could just like target it with a removal spell. But we could have lethal next turn. In the turn. Look at the top card of your library, put one into your hand, the rest on the bottom, proliferate. All right, cool. Mm mm mm. All right. Now, we're not doing slow jams on this because, again, too many new cards. I expect people to be playing a bit slower today. I'm not going to hold that against any of my opponents. I could also use the Seed Cord to pump a Skrelv, which is kind of neat. Not that it matters because it'll just die to Death Touch, but it's an option. I could also use it on the Jawbone Duelist as well, if we got the opponent low enough. Fortunately, our life total doesn't matter, so we can use Skrelv freely. <laughs> We're at 17 still. We should be all right. Serum Snare. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. If that permanent had mana value 3 or less, proliferate. All right, I'll try. I expect them to have a second removal card here. At least I assume that's the case. Cool. Hey, at least they didn't proliferate as part of that exchange. Wait. Okay, so we go to six. Well, now we try the stacking effect because that's what we want to do, right? So we're just going to use Skrelv. We'll pay for it because I'm not doing anything else with the mana. On here, uh, choose a color. We'll just choose black. And we'll attack. Opponent goes to 8, and then they go to 10. There you go. All right, what do we do here? We're going first. Yeah, we're going to keep it. It's just going to be a bit awkward. I mean, I guess we could play Skrelv's Hive, and... I mean, if we do double Skrelv's Hive, that's kind of ambitious. That's a lot of life loss. Hey, more poison. Actually, it may not be, because I have Skrelv on a bunch of lists myself, to be honest. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to go with one of these. Thought about changing it up, but I think that's just what I'm going to go with. And then I'll remove something and then see if maybe we could play two things on the following turn. 
or not, seeing as how there's now a uh, problem. Okay, well, that would come in taps. That wouldn't help our case any. Okay, well, I guess we get to see if they have another Skrelv. Since it can't protect itself. Ashnod, a Death Toucher. That's going to be super annoying. Alright. We can start thinking about making some headway here. Let's play this. Target a basic land. We'll remove this. And I'm going to attack with just this. I don't want to give him back a Skrelv just yet. Alright. Poison count is one. Ooh, Radadrabix. Okay, I see what they're doing now. Let's... Hmm, let's play this for sure. And we'll attack with these two? I mean, you can kill both of them. Interesting, they didn't want to lose an astronaut even though they would get one back. Not sure what that's about. You know, though, having duplicate Skrelves would be kind of cool. If you were able to get, like, multiple copies of Radadrabix and get some craziness going. Alright, opponent's down to two cards, so we're not doing too bad here. Yeah, they're ex funny that I said that. They had another Radadrabix. Look at that. That is amusing. And that's why they didn't block with the Ash Nod the last time. Because they want to be able to get more copies, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get... Oh, we can't, though, because it says Ward 2. Oh, yeah, it's 2, not Ward 3. Okay, fair enough. I guess we get rid of the real one? Nah, let's get... Yeah. Oh, I have to target a basic first. There we go. Yep, and then we'll just pay the 2. And we'll attack, attack, attack... This is others? Yeah, another creature you control with Toxic. Alright, just those then. Oh, the opponent didn't block again. Do they have another Radadravix? No, they're going to attack Anuma. Okay. I mean, we might kill the opponent with regular damage at this pace. I forgot that was even a card. When another non-token creature you control dies, you can pay two life. If you do exile it, and you make a one. Okay, cool, cool. All right, well, going to do our thing. That's, that's, uh, opponents at five poison. I don't think we can quite get in there with our slaughter stinger yet, so we're just going to go with that. I mean, that's almost lethal damage on just an attack. That's eight damage. I mean, I guess if I attacked with everything... Nah, it wouldn't have changed much. Alright. Get that back. I don't know if we really even need to play anything else. I'm just going to do this. And this, in the event of a board sweeper or something, we'll still be making bodies. I mean, we've gained so much life back at this point. Seems to be getting the job done, though. Yep, opponent says GG. Alright, cool. All right, what do we got going here? Yeah, Skrelv's Hive's been pretty sweet. We will keep this. We're going to go with the creepy crawling triangle of doom that looks like it came out of a horror movie. Because it really does, honestly. Uh, we're going to attack. You're going to bounce our duder. No, you're going to soul partition our duder. Wow. Didn't think that was coming. Uh, so now I have to decide if Skrelv or Jawbone Duelist is better. I think I'm going to go with Skrelv. Mostly because if they play something, I can possibly remove it with the next entry here anyway. Well, I can't remove that. This gets rid of artifacts and creatures, not Planeswalkers. That is pretty nifty, though. 
Uh, what do we feel like doing? What's Jace's ultimate? Oh, we mail a bunch of things. I think we can kill them before we mail out. If we can't, I'll just die. That's fine. I'm gonna play this in case they're playing some type of sweepers. Uh, only you really make sense to attack with. We have to connect to do... Yeah, if a player dealt combat damage, so yeah, whatever. Which, my shields are down, because I can't use Skrell since I attacked with it. But we do get some fun stuff next turn. Hey, look, another soul partition. Guess what I might try to cast next turn. Uh, that's actually an interesting card. I might change my mind. <laughs> uh, do we slaughter sting? Yeah, let's go with this. You're toxic too, anyway. Let's go. And if they do, like, I don't know, like, just sweep the board here, I can protect something with Tamiyo's safekeeping. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, do I even want to protect that? I guess it doesn't matter. Become subdued. Alright, let's see if we can find a land here, because that would help. Uh, we didn't. Okay, well. Uh, do I even care? He's going to mill us for three times X cards, so... I, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, we're going for it. F it. Like, it is what it is. In the turn. Opponents at four poison. Like, we can try to get this done next turn. Also, I only have to Tyvar enough so they actually deal damage. That's the other thing. Even if we get my... Oh, you're going to exile? Gosh dang it. <sighs> Alright, fair enough. Sure. All right, back at it. Doop doop do. Bank Buster, you got it. I mean, just keep milling me at this point, opponent. Your plan's working. All right. I mean, I've also been stuck at three lands for who knows how long. We'll protect that. One of the benefits of Tamiyo safekeeping is it doesn't have to go just at creatures. Alright, let's see what we can do. Uh, because the opponent's doing this, I'm going to assume... Uh, let's see. We can go from four to six poison. Is that enough? Probably not. All right. It gets the negative. Our plans are beyond your comprehension. To fairy. That's a nuisance. Have the overly serious knowledge is meant to be All right. Well, I was going to play one of these anyway. Try to get rid of that. Question is, do we go after Teferi? I don't think we do. I think we're kind of forced into just going after the opponent and just saying, you got it, you got it. I think that's just where we are at this point. All right, they go to six. Because we get the proliferate bonus, we just have to hope they don't sweep the board here. Otherwise, we're in a world of hurt. Eternal Wanderer. This makes a 2-2, and we have to, can only attack it with one thing. Uh, exile up to one target artifact creature. Return. All right, cool, cool, cool. If they target, we can at least use Tyvar stand, so that's cool. Each player chooses a creature they control. Each player sacrifices all creatures they control all that, uh, that are not chosen this way. All right, well, resolve. My has no yep, not a lot we can do about it. 
You got it. Who's that handsome devil? All right, we'll actually try to keep this one from being targeted. Still don't know how we're going to quite get across the finish line. <laughs> that's that's the other issue we have right now. I mean, we're not quite there. And they get to draw at least two cards next turn. Three, really, if they want it. Plus their regular draw, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, they're at seven. I mean, I guess we have to do this, even if I, though I don't want to. All right, here's hoping. I don't know how we're going to get there from here. I mean, they get two extra shots, really, for no real mana expense getting... I mean, because they can draw from Teferi, they can draw from Jace. Oh, they're not, though. Nobody knows the past better than me. Okay. So maybe that's good. That's not good for us, though. Uh, okay, well. Hmm. I mean, I guess we just use Grelv and, and... Oh, but we'd have to protect from two colors. Uh, that sucks. They just have just the right combination of stuff to be bad for us. Uh, what can we do here? We attack with three things. Oh, we can't. We can only attack with two. Ugh. Yeah, there's just not a good choice here. I'm trying to think if there's anything. I think we're just dead. I don't think we can come back from this. Yeah, all right. I think I can just play a land and pass. Yeah, I think we're just done. And we only have 38 cards, so we are eventually going to be at risk from Jace. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, there was a possibility if we drew our, our uh, Stinger and gave everything plus one, plus one, that would have helped as well to clear some of the blockers out. That would have been realistic. Which is still possible, I guess. All right, now they've got colorless blockers, so Skrelv doesn't even do anything. Wait, what did we just do? Oh, I see. So you can get it back and start drawing more cards. That's pretty slick. Uh, yeah, we're not going to block anything. Doesn't really seem worth it. I mean, I guess I could, but what's the benefit? Ah, uh, bruh, really? Alright, cool, cool. We're just going to go GG's. They got us. We get to go for... Hey, there's the Rot Priest. Hadn't shown up so far. Alright, cool. Well, we're going to go, boom, Rot Priest. Since we finally drew it. I really do like that little bubbling animation. That's actually pretty slick. I'm a big fan. This is going to be interesting because... Oh, also Rot Priest. Ooh, I kind of want to do this, though. Knowing I have this. But this making our creatures bigger in this fight is probably smarter. And... We could still do either of these plus a one mana thing, because we do have several. <laughs> Same thing we got, huh? All right, cool. Let us draw another one mana thing. Ah, that doesn't cut it. All right, fair enough. Boom, here we go. I mean, is it possible we're just going to kill them with damage before we get to poison? That'd be kind of silly. They could play Bloated Contaminator, though, and that guy would be huge. Oh, we also know what's weird. If I target them with this... Oh, it says with a spell, though, not with a permanent. Okay. Yep, no Bloxies. This means they do not have a Stinger. But they're exactly... There's a Contaminator, so that's good to know. 
Uh, let's... Yeah, we can play both of these. That makes sense. Put it on there. Remove this, but I will take a... Oh, no, I don't. Again, we just talked about that. Uh, I'm actually going to go... With this. And attack with both of these. Actually, this too, because this will get plus three. Alright, cool. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like... Like, that's just 12 damage straight up. Alright, opponent's at 4. And at 7 poison. Oh, what are we targeting? Nope, that's it. Okay, cool. We'll take it. Hey, Struggle Bust, didn't see you sneak in here. Good to see you. Uh, Alright. We get to go first. We are definitely keeping this hand. Question is just, what do we start with? And I think it's this. I don't want to run Skrelb out there just unnecessarily. Feels a little silly. And we could just go double strikers. Oh my gosh. I figured this was going to happen. Just so many people want to be on the uh, poison train to start the season. Looks like they're doing some type of proliferate bonus with theirs which is probably a good way to go to be honest it allows you to still do things even if oh, that's pretty savvy i like that i can respect that using bushwhack to get some free poison tokens i, I like it i like it you know what i'm gonna go with another one of these if you have another one you have another one so be it There's Ivy. Oh my gosh, we need a land so bad. So bad. I would have loved to have gotten, tried, or at least tried to get rid of Ivy. Don't know if it would happen. Alright, well, here's hoping. Don't know if this is going to work, but we got to try. Alright, shore up. Makes sense. It's funny, because I was actually considering building one of these lists, so it's kind of cool that somebody actually did it. Alright. Ivy eats it. We get a replacement token. Oh, they may have forgot about Double Strike. I mean, we're trying to do a lot with just two lands here. Oh, they're checking their yard. I don't know what's going on. No, I'm probably going to be playing an oil deck over on, on Twitch tonight as well. Playing some Gruel decks over there. All right, they're going to go ahead and draw since we already have three poison, which is pretty slick. I This is a card I targeted in the preview season because I actually figured it's not going to be that hard to get three poison on somebody, even if that's not your main plan. And getting to draw two cards for one mana is super strong, even if it is a sorcery. Oh, I disagree. I think there's other fun stuff to test. I think we all kind of knew what poison was going to be out of the gate. See you later, Parks. Thanks for stopping in. All right, opponent's got three mana open. They're going to burgeoning to go get another copy, which is pretty slick. I mean, they might be able to kill us without even actually doing anything with that, which is kind of funny. Uh, all right, we finally got our third land. We're going to get rid of this. And we're going to attack. All right. We got a head on the poison count. Though they're able to proliferate, so it may not even mean much. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at here. We Actually, if we had a way to get rid of their Rot Priest, which I doubt it, because I would guess they have a way to protect it. I was going to say, we would be able to uh, have lethal here. But I don't think that's a real thing. So let's... Uh, I want to try. I have a feeling we're going to get countered and proliferated. If we believe that's true, then I want to go with this. All right, they let that through. You let Skrelv through. They do. All right. Um, let's give this a bonus. So I'm assuming they'll try to block that. And we have to do that before we attack because the Slaughter Stinger changes our power toughness. 
All right, we attack with this, and I yeah, let's just go. Like if you get if I get got, I get got. Let's do it. I mean, they could fight the small token. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> Wasn't planning on that card happening, but not a bad one to include in that kind of deck, honestly. I should have saw and seen that coming. That is a real good point. Uh, we'll block. No point getting a needless uh, poison there. Oh, nice. Well, that could just end the game, potentially. But we'll just do this instead. Try to remove a blocker, they can protect it, and then we attack with everything. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, if we just make this, that's two, four, you block, or five, six, seven, you block that one, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, all right. Ooh, not you, buddy. Well, that card was late coming back under our uh, sentry. And then we'll pay the life. Doesn't really matter. Uh, protecting from blue. All right, that should do it. Yep. We killed them both ways. All the damages. This has been a, a wacky and interesting deck, as it turns out. Like, I gotta give you credit. I thought it was gonna... It's... It's a reasonably fun aggro deck more than it is a fun poison deck. And that's actually really nice for me. So we're going to keep. We're going to play this. And then a Jawbone Duelist, I think, is where we're going. And we have a backup Jawbone Duelist. So that's kind of cool. Now the question is just how long do these live? I'm assuming half a turn. Nope, there's a Vincer. We won't be attacking past a Vincer. Well, that's not true. We can remove a Vincer, at least. And then we'll attack. I was going to say, kill our Sentry and get a Vincer back? That would be real. Oh, that's actually really nice. I am not upset at that, let me tell you. Uh, can I do that? I can do that and play another Jawbone Duelist. That works. All right, we'll attack with both. Seems reasonable. Uh, does this have anything when it dies? When you proliferate, we lose. All right, fair enough. I'm going to give this plus one just so I can get greedy and cast the other Duelist. I think that's what I want to do. Whoa. Did I do that right? There we go. Plus one. Alright. And then hope they don't give negatives to our creatures. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think Bloated Contaminator... There's an argument to be made that it's the best green card in this set. Just from its size and cost. All right, opponents at eight. I mean, they can kill... Exactly, kill something, get a creature back. That's your best play here, for sure. 100%. Now, don't kill my other sentry now. Oh, Thrumming Bird. All right, cool, cool. Uh, I attack with both of these. They have to block one. One dies. Eh, fair. Actually, attack with all three, yeah. I mean, yeah, one just straight up dies. We kill one. You take one, go to nine. Just a greedy play here. Probably don't need it, but we'll see. I mean, I guess we do, because they just play another creature here. We wouldn't be able to kill them. Each person gets a... Oh, each opponent. <laughs> like, okay, we're all good now. They could proliferate themselves and put a counter on there, right? Mm hmm all right, I'm assuming we end up with two poison at the very least. Yep. You make a blocker. And uh, that's it. Yep. 
All right, cool. All right, so I'll admit this was more fun than I thought it was going to be. Actually, I don't know if I said this in the video, but I almost had more fun with this as an aggro deck even more than a poison deck. So that's actually pretty cool because I still had the poison element to kind of add another layer to kind of, I guess, strategize around. But really, it was still fun just playing a Selesnya aggro deck, which is pretty cool. I think all the cards overall were pretty strong. I didn't really feel like I was missing anything or there was something I wanted more of that I didn't have. I think here in the early goings of the format, you're gonna have a lot of people trying poison. And I think this is the better poison deck. Though I think there is something to be said for the blue green poison decks that are actually trying to proliferate a little bit more. But I think those also get beholden to having to play the counter spells and the draw spells and everything else. And not necessarily put the pressure on your opponent that I think you need to be playing this type of deck. But overall, if you're looking to play it, this should be fairly easy to build and it's actually pretty fun. And for today's card spotlight, we're gonna talk about leeches. Yeah, just leeches. This really random card from like Homelands or whatever. But the thing is, as soon as we started finding out that there was gonna be poison and Phyrexia all will be one, this card shot up like a rocket ship. It went from being like a dollar, dollar and a half, all the way up to being like $20 at one point. Now I knew that wasn't gonna hold and the price came back down, but like the market price right now on these is somewhere around 12 or 13 bucks. Now, do I think it'll hold? Eh, I don't really know. It's kind of weird because it's also going to come down to how much people see poison in their commander decks or commander games. And I don't think they're necessarily going to see a ton of it, which I think is going to bring this back down to earth a little bit. Also, we don't know what the next set brings. If Wizards thinks poison is going to be big enough, they'll probably add another card to deal with poison counters. So there's a lot of variables here, but I would be more likely to sell than to hold on this thing at that price but it's also the only card that gets rid of poison stuff outright. So make of it what you will. If you enjoyed today's video and you're looking for other decks to play in standard, check out this video I've got with nine new decks you can try with Frexia all will be one cards. That's all I have you for now. We'll see you next time.